All right. So we're going to go over week 13 of the Coden Boot Camp, Tech Elevator. Uh, this week, we've been working on our final capstone. And I really didn't want to do this video because I really like to focus on like positive things. I like to not put my energy toward things that I don't think are worth it. Right. And a lot of time that's negative things. I don't like putting my energy to it. I've worked really hard in my life to to have some kind of peace. And it's very, very important to me to stick with that. You know, after years of, of, of the things that I went through with, you know, my checkered past. But on the same note, it's been bothering me because I also believe in being real and being authentic in my videos and being authentic with my audience and sharing my experiences with what I'm going through. And the reality is, is that in life, sometimes things just aren't good. Right. And it's, and it's important for me to share that with everybody because things are not always good. Things are not always happy. And that's OK. That's part of life. You accept it and keep pushing. With that being said, this week has been pretty difficult with the capstone. What has happened is there's a lot of different visions going on for what our application should look like. I, I just I don't agree with them. There's been a lot of things that's happened through this capstone that I don't agree with. I don't think is very good teamwork. Um, there's been some issues. There's been a lot of my code that I put a lot of work into has been overwritten and deleted and commented out. And a lot of the vision and direction that we were working toward as a team has changed without any kind of group conscience for it. And it has bothered me very bad because this project meant a lot to me. I was really excited about it. And it's like immediately it's changed into something else. And it doesn't feel like a team project. It's felt like a solo project. And I'll say maybe this is my own fault for having expectations on something when I know that I should not put expectations on things that I can't control and I cannot control other people. I cannot control things outside of myself. So with that being said, I'm going to take the fault here for having expectations on this project and expectations on my team. I'm sure there's things that I can do better as well. I've actually kind of done an inventory on this of what could I do better, but it's been frustrating. Right. And I don't feel like there's a clear vision and I don't feel like there's a whole lot of communication or teamwork. And my background in behavioral health has been management and building teams. I feel like I can do that. It's kind of my strong suit is like setting up teams to work together and like thriving. But I didn't want to have to play that part in this project. Right. We didn't have a whole lot of time to do that, but. I'm not having a good time, right? It has not been fun. This project means a lot to me. I, I want it to be good. Uh, and it's just been difficult. But these are things that we deal with in the real world, and that's okay. So I'm doing my inventory. I'm figuring out what can I learn from this. And I keep pushing, right? Um, but I say all this because I just I just really didn't want to put no more energy into it. Like, I don't, it's not fun for me. It, it hasn't been a good experience so far. You know, and not to anybody's fault, the whole team wants what's best for this. But when everybody's taking lead and everybody's going in different directions, you don't get the cohesion that makes a team work good and you get a good product or a good outcome or whatever it may be. And these things are very important. I think we're going to have a conversation about that and, and see what we can learn because we're dealing with a lot of different people on this project and uh, no real leader, if you will. And that's where I'll step in. I thrive at bringing teams together. I thrive at giving people cohesion, right? Giving people direction, motivating people. It's something I've done for these years is like motivating others. But it's not always easy, thing, right? It's not always easy. Things are not always fun and happy, and it's okay. So sorry for the negative video, but this is the reality of what's going on right now. And I just want to be authentic with you guys and tell you how I really feel and what's really going on and not just share the good stuff, right? If things aren't going good, you guys need to know this is my experience because that's what it all really comes down to is the lack of communication within our team. Got some really good people on my team, a lot of really smart people. We just need a little more communication. So hopefully moving forward, we can make that a little bit better. And my next video could be a little more happier, a little bit better experience because this has been an awesome experience so far at Tech Elevator. I don't want to end it on something bad. Thanks for watching.